Hi, my name is Joel Wilson with Applied Controls, and today I'm going to walk you through a demonstration of RC Systems SenSmart 6000 Gas Detector Transmitter. The 6000 series transmitter offers many benefits, including a QVGA screen, a five year manufacturer's warranty, universal transmitter, can be a dual sensor transmitter, and has an extremely fast warm up time. The 6000 series transmitter is class 1 div 1 rated for their explosion proof stainless steel and aluminum housings. They also have one made in poly housing that is rated for class 1 div 2. They have up to three relay outputs. It has ethernet connection which can be remote mounted up to 4000 feet away. It also has temperature compensation sensor elements to be able to help you meet your application needs. The SenseMart 6000 comes with an embedded web page as a standard. It provides secure remote access point where you can see your system, your channel, and even alarm parameters. You can view gas detector event log and upload or download gas detector configurations from any embedded web device. So I'm going to walk you through some of these key features of using the SenseMart 6000 transmitter for your applications. Okay, so I'm going to power up the uh, system real quick so I can show you one of the advantages of the RC Systems gas detector. So you'll notice here as we start it up, it's giving me all the sensor info, the serial number, the span, uh, what our zero point is, when it was born, and then the last time it was calibrated. So one of the benefits, as you can see now the screen, it's showing warm up. The sensors that RC Systems have have an extremely fast warm up time and in fact they will be warmed up ready to go detecting gas in less than five minutes. Uh, which is super fast, it's quicker than anything else on the market, so you are assured of once you install this, especially inside an enclosed uh, shelter or so forth, that you have that gas being detected so the safety of your employees is first rate. So while this is warming up, the other thing I want to tell you about is the transmitter itself. It has a five-year manufacturer's warranty. So they stand behind their, their, their product, and now looky there, we're done. We are warmed up, and we are detecting gas. Very quick response time. That was less than a minute. Uh, so uh, again, the five-year manufacturer's warranty. The other benefit about this that we talked about was it can do dual sensors. It is also a universal transmitter, meaning this transmitter will do any of the four gas detection uh, sensor technologies, whether it be electrochemical, cat bead, IR, or PID. It'll help you eliminate the amount of stuff you have to keep in the warehouse. You can have one transmitter that can do any of those technologies and go anywhere in the plant, uh, just ultimately making it simple and easy for you guys. Calibrating your sensors is a simple four-step process, and here's how you do it. You notice there are four buttons on this transmitter. It is used with a magnet, uh, which is beneficial. Uh, if you have to have gloves on, you got a touch screen, it can be tough with the gloves, uh, but this magnet will ensure an easy process of going through any steps. But with a cow, there are four buttons here. One of them is pretty simple and easy. It says cow down here in the bottom left. So I'm going to hit cow. It tells me to hit edit to go to cow mode. So I'm going to hit edit. And now it asks me for a zero. So I, I've got a simulator down here. I've actually got a, a good zero going on. So then I hit edit. And so I am done calibrating my zero. Once you have that good zero, you can hit that. Next, it asks you for your span gas. So again, you need to hook your, your span gas up. And I've got my um, simulator down here that I'm going to crank this up like I would my regulator on my cow gas bottle and uh, would crank that up to 50 ppm once I got that 50 ppm I hit edit cal success now it's purging itself out that's all it takes to calibrate this a simple four-step procedure a great benefit of the SenseSmart 6000 transmitter is it gives you sensor life indication so there's no more guessing if your sensors are still good having to do a bump test and so forth in the field, this will tell you exactly how much life you have left. Here's how you find that information.
One of the benefits that this transmitter offers is the uh, sensor life. So if I come down here to technician, hit edit, I go to sensor life, I hit edit, and I can see that my sensor has 100% left of life left on it, which is very beneficial to you. A lot of others out there on the market, they don't give you that information. You have to bump test it, see how long it takes it to come back to, to zero. With this here, it is calculated and will tell you exactly how much life it has left. It makes your PMs uh, quicker. You can check that before you do your cow. If you're at a 5%, swap the thing out and, and go on your way. So if we had dual sensors, this is how our screen would look. We'd have uh, sensor one and sensor two be split that way. And again, it would be color coded and each one would, would report individually. The next benefit I want to talk about is the QVGA screen on the SenSmart 6000 transmitter. It is a full screen and it changes colors as we were going into say a, a low level or a high level alarm or even in default. Nice indication for your personnel out in the plant. So I've got a simulator down here, then I'm going to turn this up. As a, let's say we had a release of gas H2S, we've got our low level alarm coming up here. It is now changing colors to the uh, yellow and, and blue and now we're in red because we're in fault. Very nice indication, especially if you had that mounted outside of an entryway into a, a shelter, whether it be an analyzer shelter, or maybe just some building that you have that could have H2S or O2 or so forth in there. Before they were to walk in, they see that nice visual and they know not to go in there uh, and just, it's, it's safety. I take this back down. You can see that graph. It is uh, coming back below those set points. Again, changing colors. If we had a quick release, and then, uh, you know, everything went back to normal, we're back to green, everything is good. But nice visual indication, again, safety of the personnel uh, to, to minimize any risk, injuries, and so forth out in your plant. Another nice feature of this SenSmart 6000 transmitter, if we were to hit this next, we can see a 30 minute trend of our gas. So if there were a release of gas, you can go out there and, and monitor that and see what low level alarms or high level or even when it went into fault that it might have reached. A uh, very nice feature. We can see that I did three simulated releases of gas and see what that trend has shown for our last 30 minutes. Changing out your sensors is simple and easy and here's how you do that. We take our, our cap off the bottom here. Once that's off, we can sit there, pull our sensor out, and you see how the connection is. The other nice benefit, it has the arrow. You'll notice my arrow here. And so I line those arrows up, insert that, and we can see it is now recognizing my sensor. Thank you for watching this demonstration on RC Systems SenSmart 6000 transmitter. I hope you found this beneficial. If I can help you with any of your next projects or applications when it comes to gas detection, please reach out to me by email at jwilson at ac-acsi.com or give me a call at 405-255-9440. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.